In this video, we're going to learn about integration management. Integration management refers to integrating the processes of the project and getting them to work together. In other words, it refers to getting the various parts of the project to work together in a smooth manner. It refers to understanding and managing all of the different types of knowledge areas simultaneously. And this includes all the knowledge areas, including scope, cost, schedule, quality, resource, communications, risk, procurement, and stakeholder management. Integration management is the main role of the project manager. So simply speaking, it is about understanding how the various components of the project fit together and how to manage them at the same time. Integration management is the only knowledge area which is done across all of the different process groups, meaning all the way from initiating to closing the project. The project manager is responsible for managing all of the different components of a project and then juggling them together as a cohesive whole. And this is the essence of a project manager's main responsibility. Now let's talk about an example of how integration management can be done on the project and how different processes can be integrated together. For example, if you're making a bridge as a product, and you want to increase the quality of the bridge. This means that you will have to consider what changes will be required to the schedule and cost for improving the quality of the bridge. And so in this case, you can see that we have to consider the schedule management and cost management knowledge areas before you can actually go about increasing the quality of the bridge. Now let's take another example of a software product. For example, when you have to add new features to a website or a software application, you have to consider whether those changes are within the scope. And if those changes are not within the scope, then what will be the impact of the additional extra features? So you might want to consider the impact of those extra features on the scope, time, cost, and risks on the project. And so as you can see, before you go about adding any new features, you have to consider the impact on the various knowledge areas, including scope management, cost management, time management, and risk management, just to mention a few. And so as you can see, when you're conducting integration management, you have to consider the project as a whole, and you have to take into account the impact on all of the different knowledge areas. Next, let's take a look at what are the different processes of integration management. Integration management includes develop project charter, develop project management plan, direct and manage project work, manage project knowledge, monitor and control project work, perform integrated change control, and finally, close project or phase. We're going to learn about each of those different processes in more detail in the upcoming videos. I'd like you to know that you're doing absolutely amazing. I'll see you in the next video.